Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today in this video. Today I will be talking about how to set up and run the Office 365 Android SDK sample in Android Studio. The first thing you need to go to do is to download the sample app. So let's go to Google and let's just search Office 365 Android SDK. The first result is the repository for the Office 365 SDK on GitHub. You want to go in there and you can either clone or download a zip. I'm just going to download the zip file. Let's go to where it's downloaded and let's, let's open this. After opening this, I want to go into launch Android Studio. And since now I know where my project is stored, I can go open it in Android Studio. And the thing you want to do is that you want to open the build.gradle file here. So let me go, let me let me first um go to file, go to import project, and look for the project I just downloaded. So I just downloaded Office 365 SDK sample for Android in my downloads folder. Okay. I might need to do a little refresh here. So let me just do a refresh here. And I get it. That's my newly downloaded project. Let's expand it. Expand it and go into the samples and open the build.gradle file in the samples outlook folder. Press OK. Just have to wait a couple of seconds while it starts building the Gradle project. But in no time at all, you should see your project launch in Android Studio. Here we go. This is our project. The thing you have to do now is to go to. Okay, this this uh, you got a prompt to change your language level. It's fine. Just press yes. All right. Just for uh, to make things clear, I'm going to close my other project that I opened earlier on. Okay, so now I have this uh, SDK sample project opened. I want to expand my app folder, go into Java, go into my source code, uh, go into samples of Outlook, and go into service service constants. This is where you need to enter some values that are specific to your app. And you want to uh, enter values to fill in these two fields, client ID and redirect the URL. The other two fields, resource ID, authority URL, and the third one, endpoint ID, you can leave alone because they're not going to change. But for these redirect URL and client ID, you want to enter your own values. So open up your browser, open a new tab. I'm opening a private tab here. Go into Azure, click on portal, and you want to sign in with the email address of your developer tenant. So my email address of my developer tenant account, of the admin account in my developer tenant is, is this. So I sign in with that. Sometimes you're going to get this error, no subscriptions found. That means that, and this is a very common error, I'm glad we ran into this today. That means that I signed in with my wrong account. So even though I have an Azure developer tenant, my, or rather even though I have an Office 365 developer tenant, the Azure account that is managing the Active Directory of that tenant is not the same account as that tenant. Rather, I added my Office 365 tenant to to a separate um, Azure subscription that I had earlier on. So I just want to sign into that. So the main thing you should take away from this is that you want to sign in to the Azure account that contains your Office 365 tenant. So let me try this other account I have.
So that's it. I'm in Azure. I want to go to the left panel where you have all the Azure services. I want to scroll all the way down and look for Active Directory. And I want to look for my tenant's Active Directory. If you look under name, it should be your tenant address or your organizational name. So this is what I mean by having your Office 365 tenant, your developer tenant for Office 365, by having a separate Azure subscription that is a different email address managing that tenant. So go into the tenant, go to Applications, and you want to click Add. And now you want to add an application that you are developing. You want to write the name of the application. So for this, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it iOS uh, 365 sample. Oh, sorry, this is an Android video. So it's an Android 365 sample. And the type of the sample is going to be a native client application because it's running on a native device, a mobile device. So it's a native code and not web, HTML, JavaScript code. Press next and type in a redirect to URI. For the purposes of making your app run, this can be any value you want. So I'm just going to do HTTPS uh, www.google.com for this. If you're building a more full-fledged app, you want to pick a specific redirect URI. But for now, anything will work. Press the uh, tick and wait for it to finish uh, adding the app to your Active Directory. What this does is that this registers the app in your Active Directory. and this allows the app to um, to be activated by any user within the Active Directory. Go to Configure. Now you see over here that there is a client ID and a redirect URI. And at the bottom of the screen, you can add permissions to other applications. So I want to copy this redirect URI, or rather this client ID, and paste it within Azure Studio, within Android Studio, sorry, over here. I want to go back again to the browser and I want to copy my redirect URI. No, oh, this should be this should be here. And this should go over here. So once again copy your redirect URL and copy your client ID from the Azure portal. And the next thing I want to do is go back to my Azure Active Directory uh, portal page and I want to click Add Application under the Permissions section. This is going to be an Outlook sample, so it's definitely going to use some uh, mail permissions. So I want to go and look for the uh, Office 365 Exchange Online Permissions uh, category, and I press, press plus on it, and I press tick. It's adding it here, and I want to select the granular level of permissions I want. So for this, we're just going to try the mail function out. So let's select read user's mail, read and write access, and send mail as a user. Those sound like things that we might need. Okay, after you select, you press save. Remember to press save or else these changes that you made, the permissions that you added are not going to be saved into your Active Directory app configuration. After saving, you'll want to head back into Android Studio. And now let's actually try running the app and see what happens. So press the Run App button in Android Studio. It's going to compile your app, do some Gradle tasks. And because I don't have my emulator open yet or any device plugged in, it's going to ask me to either launch a device uh, from the emulator or plug in a device. So let's wait for that screen to appear. And then I'm going to launch my emulator. There we go. I'm going to launch my emulator. You can choose any um, compatible compatible API level that matches uh, the sample. Press OK. It's launching my emulator. This is going to take a couple of seconds, or maybe more than a couple of seconds. The Android emulator is really slow. But well, uh, one thing you can do is to enable the uh, fast, fast vert mode over here using the Intel HAXM. So that's one possibility to make it run faster. But I'm not going to talk too much about it during this tutorial because we are, we are doing this for the purposes of setting up our, our Android um, sample for Office 365. So my emulator has started, and my app is going to launch. There we go. 
So it's launching and it says authentication successful because I've actually already installed it before. But just for the sake of showing you what this is like, I'm going to uninstall this app and I'm going to install again so that you can see what's going on behind the scenes. So let's uninstall it and let's press play to install it again. Go back to my emulator. It is going to prompt me to sign into my Office 365 account. I can use any account I want here, including my organizational account that I use at work. But for today's purpose, I'm going to use my developer tenant because a developer tenant is a tenant that you get to test and debug your apps that you create on. So let me do my developer tenant. I'm going to enter my password. And I'm going to enter it below so you guys can see what's going on. And I'm going to press OK. So after I successfully authenticate to, to the um, Azure Active Directory, I see these two buttons, Play with Email and Play with Calendar, light up. Let's click Play with Email because we have already configured email permissions. So everything should work, I think. Click on Play with Email and you want to go to the uh, top portion of the app, click on settings, enter the email address for your inbox. So this is the same as your sign in earlier on. Enter it, press enter, and press update. This is going to take uh, a while because sometimes, you know, um, this is a sample app because it's so it's not like perfectly designed to be the fastest thing ever. But there you see, you see all your um, recent emails displayed. And as, as we are getting a request, uh, getting a response and writing a request to the server, you see the logs show what's happening over here. So th this is very helpful to help you debug. So now you see your emails and everything's working perfectly fine. You can even send an email to yourself by pressing the send to self button and it's going to send a message to you. Go back to your um, browser. And what you want to do is, um, so now we're done here with Azure Active Directory. We can close this tab and we can open one more tab. And the reason we're doing this is because, as you saw earlier on my Azure portal, my sign in was, um, was an Outlook.com account. And that's in the live side of things for, for Microsoft authentication. and I want to go in now into my Office 365 tenant, which is in the organizational side of things for my Microsoft authentication. There are essentially two systems, live and organizational. And both these systems are completely different. So if I try to go to portal.office.com while signed into Azure with my live ID, it's going to show my OneDrive for consumer and everything consumer. But now I want to go into my developer tenant, which is an organizational ID. So I should close my browser or rather open a new private tab and sign in with that, that same um, account. So I've signed in. Let me go to Outlook. And you see here that I've just sent an item two minutes ago at 6.46 p.m. And it was sent at 6.44 p.m. Um, from the app. And that's it really. Um, in this really short video, I've shown you how to, you know, download, set up, uh, and configure your, your sample app for Office 365 using the Android SDK. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find my post uh, all very useful as well to help you get started. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thank you.